What's going on people? Today we're going to be learning how to make this rotating CD cover right here in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So first you want to come to your Fusion Composition in the Effects panel um, and then head over to the Fusion tab. Once you've done that, we're going to create a background and this is going to be our base plate for the whole tutorial. Go ahead and connect the background to the media in and then we're going to use our assets which I'll supply in the description of this video. So you want to come to your assets and drag the CD cover on and simply hold shift and drag that to the middle of the line and that will then uh, appear visible on our, uh, our base plate. Once you've done this you want to come to your merge and this is where we're going to resize it a little bit. So head over to your merge and just drag the size down till it's about center of the screen. Now we can hit control space and we're going to add an S render. And after you've done that, hit control space again and type in shape and then come to the S ellipse tool. You're going to connect the S ellipse to the S render and drag that onto your left screen and we should get this nice circle. Um, once you've done that, add a merge, then connect the S render to the merge and on the merge node just uh, come to the size and resize it till it fits directly inside of the CD cover. You then want to uh, drag a background node onto your timeline and a merge node in between the S render and the other merge and drag the background merge in between. Now you're not going to see anything but come over to the color, change to um, horizontal and here you can change the colors of what the CD is going to look like. Now on the background merge you want to select in and that will place our, um, our gradient in you can see here me just flicking between two um, so make sure the operator mode is set to in and now we've got a nice looking cd cover with a uh, sort of a, a red cd um, and here's gonna be where we add the extra details so at the end of the png here you can see there's this kind of random line we don't want that so you want to come to your rectangle tool um, which is as selected and just drag that to the media in and then we can do some resizing of the PNG and just make sure that line is not visible and that way our PNG is nice and clean. Now I'm going to add my PNG of Joey uh, where I'm just going to attach it like so with another merge. I'm going to drag that in and I'm just going to come to our merge again and uh, drag that on the left panel so I can see the sizing. Uh, and do our resizing so it fits onto the CD. You then want to drag your S render and drag that to the blue um, input of the Merge 4 and Joey should be then masked inside of the CD um, which fits nicely um, and now we can add some text. Now you want to add a text uh, and then a merge and this is where we're just going to add some text onto the CD and obviously you can write whatever fits the, the thing you're going for. Here I'm just going to write his name. Now I'm going to head over to the input of our PNG and add a color corrector and this is where we can just change the CD case cover and the color. As you can see you can get some really cool neon and vibrant colors. Uh, there's lots of possibilities here. So have a play around and see what works. I think uh, use sort of composite and split complementary colors uh, and you're going to get a really nice look. Head over to your original background node like I've selected here and bring down the alpha and that just clears the background. And we can come to our edit page uh, and see um, how it's looking. Now I've got a, a clip from Joe Badass. I'm just going to put that beneath. This is really cool, but um, I think we can make it even better. So let's rotate the CD. So just here full screening. But what I'm going to do is come back to the fusion panel. I'm going to add a transform node. So control space and add it after the merge tree. Um, I'm then going to just show you what it looks like rotating but we want to keyframe the rotation so you're going to just set that to default come to zero and you want to move up maybe 100 or 90 frames and rotate that to exactly 360. Now if you want this on a permanent loop come to your spline select the angle um, which will be our keyframe and select the little thing in the corner here which makes the keyframe visible highlight them all and click this button there and this will just um, rotate uh, it permanently so say you have a long track or a long uh, clip, it would just continuously rotate. If you also want to add footage inside the CD, which could be quite a cool effect, just come to your media in where the Joe Badass PNG is and just drag your footage in the clip name. And then essentially that will fill the mask of the CD. And that's pretty much it guys. I managed to do this in under five minutes. I thought this would take a little bit longer. Be sure to head over to bluetooth.com. We've got a spring sale on for 10%. So that's just spring 10 at checkout. 
Um, if not, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you in the I next one. Peace.